So Roy, today we're at Sukum Vet Road, checking out another dealership for some different scooters. And again, we've come across the Tuscanies, and they look like pretty good value. Now, we were told the wrong information last time. We were told that they had ABS, and um, they don't have ABS. No. Uh, but they are 65000 they're 150 and the power in them. Yeah, and we need. Yep, and they're not uh, made in China. They're made in Thailand. They're, they're Thai brand. There's a couple of different models here that we haven't seen. Before. Yeah, yeah. We've got the Lambrettas here. Yeah. We got the Lambrettas 300, which is about 160,000. And then Lambert we've got the the smaller ones, the 200 Lambrettas. And how much were they? Smaller uh, Lambrettas, 107. 107. Yeah. So they're very small. They've got very small wheels, but they're Italian style. Made in Italy. Nice looking little bike. Yeah, they are a nice one. They're very nice. Very retro. Very much like the, the Tuscany and the... Yeah. Okay, so this is the BCX. Okay, this is Roy's choice so far. Well, well it seems to have everything, doesn't it? Got the AV and brake Yeah, well, it, it's the most practical one out of the thing, and it's a... A worker horse, very popular here in um, Thailand. 115,000. 115,000 for the ABS model. And the Tuscany was about 60,000. 65,000, yeah. Yeah. So you, uh, you, you yeah. Know, even if they only last three or four years. Well, you've so. got the drone here as well. I didn't see the drone. Yeah. So you got the drones here that are pretty much the equivalent to the PCX. Yeah. Right, but they're um, about 80,000. They come in some nice colours. Okay, Roy, so we're at Benili Patea, right, and we've got a lot of the bikes we've already looked at down here, okay, so it's very loud down here, but we've got the Honda PCX, we've got the GPS drone, and we've also got the GPS Tuscany. Now, so far, these three bikes are finalists, would you say? Yes, first three fast players so far. Yeah, okay. Now, which way would you be leaning? I'd be leaning towards the PCX. Okay, so which way do you think... Anne's learning. You think she's going to go with the retro styling, girly thing? She's definitely going for retro style, and by her um, definition, that's the Tuscan. Okay, so, so we've got a heap of Ves uh, Vespas here. All right, and we, we looked at these at another shop, so we did. why didn't, why weren't they a contender? They started out to be a contender, but price wise, they just put themselves out of the market. Why is that? How much more expensive are they? I think around about fifty-five to sixty thousand margin extra. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's a big price for the same sort of bike. Yeah. Okay. So, what about the, these ones? These Kiwi bikes. What do you think of them? Uh, I think they're great. They're a one hundred and fifty cc. Yeah. They took most of the boxes. Yeah. So said, are they made in China? Yeah, they are made in China. Well, that's probably as you said, maybe I'll take against them. Yeah. So the Tuscan is made in Thailand, yeah, yeah by GPX. So that's a big plus, okay. Yeah, so there's, here's some more Kiwi bikes, same sort of thing. They look great. So, so far, they're pretty nice looking bikes, really. Yeah, they're very nice. Look at this, this big 60s, um, 200. 200 TC. What do you think of that? I, I think it's great. I'm yeah. not sure why Anne didn't like it. There's yeah. plenty, of, plenty of bum room. Yeah, but again, it's made in China, so it's a bit of an unknown. The Lambrettas? Well, what about them? I, I think they're a great looking bike. Again. Retro? You said they're... Um, they're Italian made. And unproven over here? At well, the no, they're not unproven. They're Italian made, these ones, but they're um, 
you know, they're just, um, they're not Japanese or Thai, so I think it's probably better if you're leaning towards the Thai or the Japanese stuff. We are. Yeah? Okay. So, Roy, we've had a couple of days looking for scooters. How do you think we went? Amazing. You think we covered all the bases? I think so. Yeah? Okay, so we went out and our original criteria was pretty much, it was pretty open, but we wanted to sort of concentrate on 150cc, yeah? Because it's going to be. Over. Yeah, so, and that was because it's going to spend most of his time doubling. Yeah? Two people, yes. Yeah. Okay, so, all right, now we've looked at just about everything. We've looked at Lambrettas, we've looked at um, Vespers, we've looked at, you yeah. name it, we've looked at it. You Honda's, the Yamaha's, and we've narrowed it down to a few bikes, yeah? Yes, we have. Okay, so, um, we're favouring a few, so. The, the top runners so far are the uh, Keyway 60. Yes, yeah, it's a beautiful bike. Yeah, 200cc retro scooter, looks amazing. Red and white. Yeah, um, a Lambretta, 200 and 300cc scooters. And yellow, purple colour. Yeah, yeah, they, they look pretty cool. Um, the Tuscany 150 GPX, um, Thailand made. That was the number one contender. Yeah, and there's... Um, and a few people said, look, guys, you got to stick to the, uh, the yeah. Japanese stuff. So one bike that's still in there in contention is the uh, PCX. Yes. Okay. Now, we did look at um, the NMAX Yamahas. Yeah. We did quickly look at them. And um, why did we eliminate them? I'm not too sure of the reason. I think it was the end. just didn't like the looks of them, yeah? There was a couple of bikes that fitted the category, but they didn't um, sort of cut the mustard. Um, the NMAXs... Um, I think it's the way they look. So they, yeah, they just look too clean and whatever. And the other bike that was um, that fitted the category but didn't make it was the ADV 160, right? And that was in the price range as well. So yes. So we've got what three, four contenders now. Yeah, I think Tuscany is top top of the pick at the moment. Yeah. And um, why was that? I think the look, just the retro look, as you explained, perfect for a girl. You, you did mention that the suspension could be a bit soft, yep. too up. Yep. So, but Anne loved it, loved the colours, and uh, that's why we saw. And plus, it was the fact that it was made in Thailand. It was Thailand made, so parts and stuff's not going to be a problem. So, that's it. Now, what about the? Um, the Keyway 60. Now that's a bigger scooter. That looks mad, yeah? I thought it was great. The red, red and white. Yeah, and, it's fantastic. Uh, yeah, it looks really, yeah. really good. And price wise, it was pretty good? Yeah, price wise, it was fine. No yeah. problem there. I think yeah. it's 130,000. Uh, okay, yeah. So, no, that's good value. So, um, again, the big question What's the winner? Which bike are you going to go with? Right now, it's a Tuscany. 66,000. Are you sure the Tuscany's the the, um, the way you're going to go? It's not my pick. It's Anne's pick. Yeah. And I want her to be happy. Okay. But um, you never know. Okay, so Roy, I, I believe there's been a bit of a development at the Tuscany. There's been a exclusive post yeah. given to me over my shoulder while we had a pause. Yeah. And we're going for the PCX, top of the model range with the ABS braking. And it, it, that ticks all of the boxes apart from the price. It's a little bit over the Tuscany, but man, oh man, what a, what a bike it is. It's, it's so cool. And got the colour tricked out, blue and black, and it looks so smart. Okay. You know what my pick would have been? The NMAX or the uh, PTX? Mate, I think you've made the right choice. My pick would have been either the ADV 160, the NMAX, okay. or, or the PCX. I don't think you can go you know, past the Japanese stuff for what you want to do. Mate, good choice, I think. Yeah, I think so. Well, congrats. congrats. So when are we going to see this thing? Are going to see the next couple of days? We're, yeah, yeah, I've just got to see the bank tomorrow, make sure they've got the money over here, and we'll be on the, on the road within the week. Awesome. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you, and I appreciate your help and everything you've done, Greg. It's been fantastic. No problem. You're welcome anytime.